we are eager to talk with you about whatever matters to you and it is our desire today that you can come to a clearer understanding of how this all works so that you can work with the laws of the universe so that you can work in concert with your inner being who holds your desires so dearly and so steadily most of all because life is supposed to feel good to you you're supposed to be having a really good time and when you are moving in the direction of your own creation that's where satisfaction comes from in fact that's the only place that satisfaction comes from it's from life causing you to carve out something new and then you moving toward it and when you don't move toward it you don't feel so good and if somebody else has carved it out for you you don't feel so good either you know that when your mother says here's your list of what I want you to do today you say you have to find me to make me do it <laughs> when your employer says this is what is required of you doesn't sometimes ring your bells as much as when you wake up in the day knowing what you have planned fishing hiking doing something that was inspired to you and so there are so many wonderful things that are inspired to you day by day by day by day and you have created a vibrational reality your vortex of attraction that it would keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes if all of it manifested in a steady linear stream but you didn't come just to manifest things you came as the creator of the experience of your own life and oh the things are a wonderful part of the creative experience of your own life we're not trying to talk you out of things and we're not trying to talk you out of action in fact you are an extension of source energy who came into this leading edge time space reality because this is where the leading edge is turning to things and so nothing short of you manifesting everything that you're desiring is what you had planned you intended that we just want to help you realize that sometimes you get off track from what you are in the process of creating you know what the primary reason is that you get off track from what you are creating you're paying too much attention to what you have created you keep wanting to look at what is you keep wanting to take score of the manifestations that are already manifested and when you look at what is you're looking at old news it's like gum you've chewed all the flavor out of <laughs> and every moment of your life is causing you to launch new rockets of desire so you got to keep up with that expansion and if that gap gets too wide where you're launching ideas and you feel a brief enthusiasm for them but you don't then keep flowing in the direction of them then that gap gets wider and wider as you introduce unnecessary tension into your experience in the form of thoughts or beliefs that are contrary to your own desires you pick up beliefs all over the place sometimes you learn them from others if they're steady about hammering them to you you pick them up from your own life experience and most of your beliefs are because you've been observing your own life experience a belief is only a thought that you continue to think so let's say something happened in your experience a while back let's say 20 years ago and you didn't like it in this example well if something happened 20 years ago and you didn't like it and you haven't thought about it since then it's no longer a player it's not a factor in your vibrational offering so it's not hindering you in any way but if it happened 20 years ago and you talked about it then and then you talked about it 19 years ago and 18 years ago and 17 16 15 and you talked about it yesterday in fact oh yeah I was talking about that yesterday then you keep renewing that resistance and bringing it forward so something that happened there was just something that happened you've allowed it to serve as resistance to who you really are and what you really want every day since or many days since the point that we're wanting to help you to feel is that you have a mix of vibrations because you have a mix of familiar subjects that you think about and we're just asking you to pay attention to that mix 
because sometimes you want something that your habit of thought doesn't allow oh boy I'd like to have all of the money that I need to travel and have fun but I have to continue to do what I'm doing in order to bring money in and money doesn't grow on trees and there's no inheritance in my future and so this is probably as good as it's going to be for me so I'm not going to be able to travel so you gave birth to it and then you killed it because your practical mind as you face reality as you look at the current situation you let the current situation dominate your vibration so you don't let your desires flow and gather the momentum that they would gather if you weren't doing that thing that you do to stop them from gathering momentum you see what we're getting at so this conversation if it really is going to serve you is about these things it's about you being the creator of your experience and you creating through your thought and you deliberately thinking thoughts that allow you the things that you want and you deliberately contour your thought in the direction of wanted things which means you pay attention to your guidance system and if you find yourself thinking a thought that doesn't feel good you stop in the middle of that thought and you say I could find a better feeling thought we know you've heard this from us before but today we are certain that as we move forward you're going to hear it in different ways Jerry used to tell the story that when he was sitting in front of a fireplace and the log would spit a spark at him and it would land on his beautiful sweater he would just flick it off immediately it was as if it had not happened but if he didn't flick it off that spark usually had enough fire and momentum in it to burn a hole in his sweater so that's what we want you to think about relative to the thoughts that you think if a thought doesn't feel good and you don't let it go any further just by acknowledging this is an unsatisfying thought and therefore I'm going to turn my attention from it that's easy isn't it but a thought that you've thought for 20 years or conversations that you've had for a long time you can't just flick them away they don't just go away they have a life of their own they have a belief system within you a belief system that is contrary to your new desire sometimes that you just gave birth to so as we move forward we'll talk about that we'll talk about the ways to more easily come into alignment and movement and direction with your own thoughts because this is such a simple thing to understand you are creators who are supposed to be happily moving through your life experience the creative process is supposed to feel fun to you you focused yourself into this body and into an environment of so much perfect balance and contrast as to give you a constant stream of new ideas about how your life would be better and each time one of those rockets emanates from you your inner being shores it up with your inner beings knowledge and attention and law of attraction focuses too and all cooperative components are gathered and the momentum of your desires becomes more and more in this vibrational reality and while you can't see them because they haven't come into translation enough that you are translating them with your physical senses you're not yet translating them with your eyes or your ears or your nose or your fingertips or your tongue they are not that vivid yet but they are becoming and you can translate them with your emotions you can feel the satisfaction of them you can feel the enthusiasm of them and if you don't do anything if you don't think thoughts that bring discouragement instead of satisfaction that bring fear instead of satisfaction that bring doubt instead of satisfaction if you don't let yourself go into those doubtful places then this momentum of your new desire will gather enough momentum that it will begin to flow to you in a way that you can't miss it but you've got to be in the receiving mode you've got to be tuned to that receiving mode and when you are then the idea will occur to you and your enthusiasm for it will grow that much more and then another idea and another and another and another and you will stand witness to the creation to the manifestation to the physical becoming to the coming together to the thoughts turning to things of your own creations and that's what you came with full intention to do 
You're getting so much of that right. And just a little bit of it you are confused about. Because you've come to believe that just because something is, it should be considered and that you should give it your attention. You've trained yourself to be objective about things, to be so balanced. I must weigh the pros and the cons and the pluses and the minuses. But you don't realize that you work for yourself and against yourself and for yourself and against yourself when you are considering the things that you do not want. Of course, contrast is there and you will see things that you do not want and when you do what you do want will become clear for a moment and so the whole key to living happily ever after and to getting what you want is to just lean in the direction of your desires lean and feel for the satisfaction factor and as you find it steadily what begins to happen is things begin to occur to you we've been talking to you for a while Esther's been receiving our blocks of thought and translating them into the physical word equivalent. And we've written many books and talked to many of you in many different cities over time. And in all of those words, the theme that we've been offering to you primarily is this. There is a law of attraction and you get what you think about whether you want it or not. So paying attention to what you're thinking about matters. Law of Attraction is responding not just to you, the personality that you know as you, but Law of Attraction is responding to the non-physical inner being you. So when you in your physical form launch a rocket of desire, your inner being takes hold of it and Law of Attraction responds to that you as well as this you. And the vibrational variance between what your inner being is asking for on your behalf which is always pure positive energy and what you are doing about the same subject which may or may not be pure positive energy is what equals your emotional guidance system when you are in sync with your inner being you feel great and when you are pulling in opposition you don't feel so good and that's why we're wanting to turn your attention toward the idea of satisfaction when you move in the direction in other words when you say I would like a new house and your inner being says we would like a new house and the entire universe says how can we help <laughs> and law of attraction says we'll gather all of the cooperative components and you say I would like it to look like this I would like it to feel like this when I live in it I would like to feel like this so much information is contained in that brief statement because you've lived in a lot of houses and you've lived a lot of knowing what you don't want and knowing what you do want and so without you giving too much time or really attention to this subject off you go the new house is underway in fact it has been for quite a while so then you complain about the house you've got because you want to justify the new house and in doing so you're not in the receiving mode so nothing moves forward as far as you are concerned you're sort of stalled out right away but then let's say you decide you're gonna meditate you do it every day for 15 or 20 minutes you quiet your mind you stop all thoughts so you stop all resistant thought and as you meditate your vibration rises and as your vibration rises you become vibrationally equivalent with your inner being and your inner beings knowledge about your new house and now you are in vibration alignment with your own desire now ideas begin to flow to you because you're in the receiving mode of what your inner being knows about this and you find yourself collecting data you're in the right place at the right time things just start falling into place for you ideas start flowing and when they do because you were in the receiving mode it gives you life it's life giving to you you feel exhilaration about it it feels really good to you while you're in the receiving mode and those ideas are streaming to you you don't maybe realize that your vibrations are turning to thoughts and your thoughts are turning to things and you're standing on the brink on the brink on the brink on the brink of the next and 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 that's all that is required for your new house if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next